Boop. Boy, I swear to God, we got a goddamn freaking push on pulling through the way. That's the car that I want. It's a Lamborghini Aventador. And or a G-Wagon. I will see you soon, Mr. Beautiful, once I get money. God damn it, I saw another Lamborghini, but I fucking missed it. It must be a sign from God saying that LA is my home. I seem to have a message from the government. What the fuck? Apparently I need to call my EBT thing. Welcome to the California EBT customer service helpline. Please enter your 16 digit card number followed by the pound sign. CalFresh balance is $25.99. Your cash account balance is $163. That's what I'm talking about, boy. I actually got some cash account now, boy. What a cash account is essentially, instead of just EBT, because EBT food means that you can only buy food and food products in store. EBT cash means that you can actually go to like, say like a self-serve cash out kind of thing at like a Walmart, and you can actually pull out cash from a register. Cash that you can use for everything. I.E. strippers. Even if you're homeless, you still gotta remember to take out the trash. I'm really amazed to see that I got all the way from San Diego and then now I'm back in Los Angeles and my gas tank is still, you know, it's all right. There are a lot of G-Wagons out here. It feels good to be in a Walmart and actually have some sort of buying power. And I can't buy a TV, I could still buy something. I got me a hundo, pulled out a hundred dollars on for two, this one. Bought me some tape and I still have like, I think, 59.65 left in cash. Now I have in total $304. I don't really know what I'm going to do with that money because, I mean, all that I really want out of life is like Bugattis, Lamborghinis, and mansions. And you can't buy a Bugatti, Lamborghini, and a mansion with $304. So, so I guess I'll just go ahead and hold on to it for now. If you're wondering why the tape, this is why the tape. If you think that I'm doing an injustice by putting that on this pole, then consult all of these nails. That was it. What else? What else can I possibly do today? That looks cleaner than a bar of soap. Oh yeah. That's what you call real nice. Look how pretty my car looks just, just sitting there. Oh boy, I swear to God, I sweat right here, right here, boy. I swear to God, it looks like I'm straight up out of a goddamn Mercedes, a Mercedes cursor commercial. 2019 was a horrible, horrible, horrible year for you, boy. And by horrible, I mean, it's like, it's like being genuine, I mean, it's not, it's not, um, it's not really fun at all, because, I mean, like, I lost my entire family, I can't speak to, to, to anyone at all, I have no friends, I'm, I'm literally, like, I consider myself one of the rarest human beings on this planet, because, I mean, I, I, I really feel no fear, and it's like, I mean, I live in my car, no one wants to hire me, it's like, it's to a point where, through all this going to jail and this and that, I've learned one thing. 
I learned that self-independence is one of, first of all, the rarest thing that you can find on this planet. And secondly, it's the most powerful thing on this planet. Hey, fuck all that shit. I'm going to the beach. Oh, that was close. I almost got sentimental with you. But nonetheless, I'm here at Topanga Beach. Wow, look at this here casually placed piece of wood. I don't know what really pulls me so much to the beach, whether it's because of my bloodline is my mother's from Grenada and Grenada's like an island and and I'm just like keep I don't I don't know, I can't really stay away from beaches, but the only thing that I don't like about beaches is every single fucking time I come to the beach, people are like, oh are you Hawaiian? And it's just like no, just because I'm a little bit dark skinned and fat does not mean that I'm from Hawaii. No dogs on the beach. <clears throat> We're gonna have to keep that one down. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. And these Joshua trees are, are alright. I found Nala inside the beach. Go home, little one. There you go. I carved a massive pole in the beach. I just don't know what to do with it. I'm confiscating some of these very big and beautiful rocks. Apparently there's a helicopter coming that's gonna go ahead and park itself right there. And my big ass name on the beach is like right there, so I had to... <coughs> <coughs> so I had to postpone construction. See, he's telling everyone right now. On a bright side of things, I found a massive sea urchin. Just watch. Oh. This freaking lifeguard just parked on all of my rocks. Yeah, I don't know what's happening, but there's like, there's literally like firemen pulling out like a, oh my God. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's spraying her down. He's spraying her down so the helicopter doesn't sink, I would assume. Oh no. Oh no, what did I do? It's a god. Goddamn bullfuckers bigger than the goddamn fucking one out on the water. Oh, 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 He didn't tell me I had to stop. That means I'm good to go. So I actually have to leave and go and start the processes of uploading this video because it's like one, and it's not enough time to do an entire video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then come back and finish this. So 